for me to make a platformer. Um, I'm just starting right now. Okay, so um, I just added a character into the simulation. Let me just go ahead and show you. It's this guy at the bottom, not the ship. It's this little eye dude. I can hit the left arrow and the right arrow, and it looks like they're backwards, so i got to switch that. Uh, let's go over here. So left is just going to be negative, right is going to be positive. Save that. Okay, so left arrow goes that way, right arrow goes that way. That's cool. Okay, and what I need to do is... So also there's a key release thing right here. Keys equals false. Handle input. Okay, so actually what I want to add in at this point is a knot. Okay, so keys. G L F W key left. So if the key is released then this will be set to false and so then I just want to take the speed and set it to zero. Yeah, and it's not it's not you're gonna run into problems if you don't put this into an and. So both keys have to be released at the same time or up, you know, both are not. This will work, let me show you. <laughs> See, so now it's zero, right? Go left. See, they're both up when I release just the one, but it's because the other one was already up. So that's great. Now we got movement there. That's so cool. It's a little eye dude. Okay, so one thing I kind of want to do um, with the eye dude, because um, it's, it's actually pretty cool that way. We're going to change it up in a minute. Okay, so let's do... What is it down here? Key press, keys equals true. Okay, so we just need to go up here and handle the input. That's why it says handle input. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's add this in here. If keys, GLFW, probably key space, that would be the... So if the keys space, okay, then what you, what you want to do, what you want to do, Jeff, I'm going to use b0.speed.y and all of a sudden you just want to give it a burst of speed so you just want to go see how fast it moves to the right and left we want to go probably three times that straight up so 0 0.0012 like that and we want it to go up so it's going to be negative Oh, and it's only going to be a one-time thing. Because it's, well, it's okay, we'll have to... Because if you hold it down, it's going to continually set the speed at that. Whereas if you just hit it once... Huh. Well, we'll have to figure that out. So we'll figure that out in a second. And then, so what we want to do with the B... Um, it's a platform, bounce, position, rotation, scale... Position plus equals speed plus equals so it's so it will do that and then okay so then what we need to do each time is actually let's just do this because this will take care of the toggle if the speed dot y is equal to zero so it'll only do if the key if space is held down and the speed is already zero okay. Okay, and then also right in here we want to sneak this in. Um, uh, what's gravity going to be? I have no clue. We'll see what that does. Well, 
we'll see. It's going to be interesting. <laughs> okay, we want to go the other way. <laughs> Not down, we want to go up. <laughs> Isn't that great? Okay, so if you hit the space and the speed is equal to zero, speed equals 12. If speed is greater than zero, here's another catch for this one because I am not sure what I'm doing at the moment. Less than zero. I know I don't need the thing there, but I might want to add some more stuff to later. So we don't want the speed to go less than zero. See, that's perfect. But it doesn't. Uh, huh. We're just, we're jumping up. <laughs> and it keeps going up and then you never come down. 